Hey everyone, it's Grandma Scratcher here in Florida, and today the Florida Lottery Scratch Off tickets I've got are the 2024 tickets, but before we talk about it, you know I've gotta tell you it's just for fun and entertainment purposes. I don't sell tickets, underage gambling is illegal, and if you have a gambling addiction, please seek some help. All right, so I explained to you yesterday, and if you didn't catch that video, go back and watch that one. Um, that it's a versus video because my husband gave me Valentine's Day tickets, which happened to be exactly the same tickets I had just bought for the channel. So today, these are my tickets. I have ticket number 71 down through 75. And of course, I have a big white line right there, if you believe in the juju. And then my husband's tickets are 142 down through 146. And oh, he has a white line too, right there. Um, but these were bought from different stores at different times in different cities. He's a truck driver, so different cities. Um, so it'll be interesting. Yesterday, he won. Maybe it's redemption time. I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. All right, yesterday I scratched his off first, I think. We'll do mine first today. I had to put an H for a husband, so I remembered which ones were which. All right, so this is the 2024 ticket. It's a $2 ticket. So we've got a total of 10 tickets. So it's a $20 spend. Um, and let's see what happens. Top prize is $50,000. I haven't done that in a while. Uh, what are we doing? We are... Oh, goodness. Match any of your numbers to the winning numbers when the prize shown. Get a money bag when the prize shown immediately, automatically. Get a stack of money when double the prize shown. There is no win all on this ticket. But the bonus box says if you get a 2024, you win the prize shown instantly as well. So we're looking to match numbers, find a money bag, a stack of cash, or a 2024 in the bonus box. Look at that. Look at that. Let's zoom in. Nice. Like this is a professional channel or something. <laughs> No, I love when people comment like technically, like you should really do that. I'm like you have mistaken my channel for a professional channel. Like, no. <laughs> the more of a hot mess it is, the better it is. It's, that's the grandma scratcher brand. Hot mess central. All right, 14 and eight, or of course, money bag, stack of cash, 2024. We've got a two, a 16, a 17, a 10, and a six. Three, four, seven, two, three, four, six, seven. Where's my five? Nine and 19. Nothing matching, but we still got the bonus box. Remember, if there's a 2024, it's an instant win. It's a 2021. That wasn't a good year for anyone. Nobody wants to remember, remember that. There were several years there that just were no, no good. They're the lost years. Seven, six, eight, five, five, six, seven, eight, and 12. 14, 19, 4, 3, and 18. 15, no, just a bunch of neighbors. And 20, and a neighbor. Looking for the 2024. It's a 2020, even worse than 2021. Oh, and I think those were the Juju tickets, or it was the, yeah. 71 and 72 were the Juju tickets. They did nothing. They did nothing. But I know some people like to believe it. I don't have a problem with that. I don't mind answering basic questions like that. 17 and 19 is what I'm looking for. And we got an 18, a 15, an 8, a 6, and an 11 showing up for support. 25, 3, 4, 16. 3, 4, 5, 6. And we needed 17 and 19. So we just got a bunch of neighbors. I'm looking for the 2024, 2022. And the cats are arguing. The cats are like, you bitch told you she got the wrong tickets. I wonder what they say to each other. I'm sure it's interesting. Five and 18. Hmm. Didn't we have 18 before? 17, 19, 14, eight. Nope, we didn't. It's just a trick of the imagination. Cause it was just my imagination. Eight, 14, nine, 15. And 16, 14, 15, 16, 20, 10, 4, neighbor, 2, and a neighbor 17. Really? Bonus box is 2021. Man, this is my last ticket. I'm hoping it's good. Because the overall odds, we didn't even go over that. Overall odds, 1 never 4.37. Those are just general overall odds. They are not a guarantee of any kind. The Florida Lottery is like, yeah, we don't give guarantees. Thank you so much. 
You've mistaken us for someone who cares about your feelings. Five, six, seven, eight, and 17. 16, 9, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then 1, 2, 16, 17. 14. I, I'm, not, I'm never going to live it down if he wins both days in a row, you guys. And 11. Team. All right, bonus box. Do your thing, baby. Duh. All right, so my five tickets were a bust. Nothing. Nothing on my five tickets. Darn it. And now we got to do H for husband. All right. Damn it. I don't like it when he wins. It's not fun for anyone. Bonus box, 2023. Winning numbers, four and three. 15, 19, 14, 14, 15, seven and 10. We're looking for three and four. That's not the same. Four plus three is seven. 10 minus three is seven, but that's not the same thing. 14 minus four is not the same thing. 11, 18, eight, six and five. Three, four, five, six, seven, but nothing. These are harsh. Why are these? Usually the $2 tickets aren't this harsh. They're harshing my mellow. Usually they're they're footloose and fancy free. And they're just, these are harsh. All right. 15, 4, 19, 2, and 8. 7, 12, 11, 10, 1, and 18. But all it takes is one ticket to win big. So there's that. What do we got? Two. Oh, it's a two. <laughs> I was set to be sad again. And five, no five, just the two, just the two. Let's check the bonus box real quick. 2025, oh, that year hasn't happened yet. All right, what do we got on the two? We match the two. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Come on, be something good. Even though it's his ticket, be something good, $2. <sighs> I can't even, maybe we'll just get excited. It's a two. Woo, $2, woo. That might be enough for a Slurpee, but it's going to be like a small Slurpee. But it's a Slurpee. All right. I have to complain about my Valentine's Day present. I expected better from you. You know, you know that you're supposed to be getting winners. Seven. He got me open like 7-Eleven. And yes, it's me. <laughs> that he's always choosing. With him, I'm a never losing. And you know that my name is not Susan. Sorry, seven and eleven, and lots of, of uh, TLC. All right, no, just neighbors. Nope, not even neighbors there. All right, bonus box. Twenty twenty one. They keep wanting to give us the crappy years back. No thank you. No thank you. Eight. And 11 teen. Hello, 11 teen. Oh, we had 7 and 11 teen there. I'm sorry. For those of you who are like, you didn't say 11 teen. 11 teen. 7 and 11 teen. I was excited because it was 7 11. Now we've it's 8 and 11. 7 11, 8 11. Oh, if the next one is 9 11, that'd be hysterical. What do we got? 10, neighbor. 12, neighbor. 15, 2, 5. 18, 13, 4, 17, and 20. A whole bunch of nothing. That's what we got. Bubkus. 2023. <sighs> okay. It's the final ticket of the session. Coming into view. Aw, the birds are out there. Hello, birds. Hello, burbs. I love the birds. 11, 10, 7, 9, 8, and 18. Three, two, four, sixteen, fifteen. Okay, so what do we have? We have fifteen, sixteen. We've got two, three, four, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Eleven teen for the win. It's like Grandma Scratcher, I can't leave you there alone. And a twelve. <laughs> Let's check the bonus box. 2022. Well, we got the 11 team for the win. It's a match. Oh, I'm going to stop. Can you imagine if it was the $50,000? I'd have to call him and tell him that his ticket won us $50,000. I mean, that's not a bad problem to have, really. <laughs> but still, 
I would never live that down. But it's $2. <laughs> Problem solved. He still, but he beat me again. Damn it. Where is he buying his tickets? Shit. All right. So on a $20 spend, just, you know, all of this, all of these tickets, $20. Wait, he went back two and two. So he went back $4 on the $20 spend, but it was a good time. It's always a good time. I love hanging out with you guys. You guys are the best listeners because I'm the only one freaking talking here. But anyways, if you had a good time, do me a favor, like the video, subscribe, give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, scream it from the rooftops, tell your friend, scream it into the rain that's coming tomorrow. There's supposed to be torrential rain tomorrow, which is not a good thing for me because we're having people over for a cookout. <laughs> Yeah, that'll be fun. We'll have to see how that goes. But see, it doesn't really matter to me because I'm not the one cooking outside. That would be my husband. But he doesn't mind because we have a very big porch and he stays dry. It doesn't, it's not really an issue. Um, yeah, and that's really actually leading into my good thing. Uh, my good thing is tomorrow we are having a cookout. People are coming over. Um, we haven't had a lot of people over to the house since we bought it because it's still in a state of repair. I mean, not horrible. You would walk in and go, oh my God, what? No, but like, you know, you're like, oh, the corner of that piece of wall needs to be finished. We've got the smaller bathroom really needs to be gutted and redone. I mean, it's functional, but you, you can't take a shower in there, but the toilet and the sink work, and it's not like horrid. It's not like like horrible gas station bathroom bad, but it's like you walk in and you're like, mm, yeah, you really got to do this. There's no way we can get around it. You just can't make it better. We can't put lipstick on that pig. But we're having people over and that's going to be nice. I, I look forward to that. Even though I'm not really a social butterfly kind of person. I'm just me. I prefer my natural habitat is quiet with snacks and a computer. That's my, that's my native habitat. That's my biome. Okay, it's my biome. Speaking of biomes, I have to tell you guys what happened you know, besides moving the camera around. I have to tell you what happened yesterday. So I am sitting inside and I'm on my computer in front of the window and I see something white go by. And for those of you who stuck around to the end, you're gonna love this story. I see something white go by. And I'm like, that's that was a pretty big, whatever that was, I mean like snow white. That was pretty big. I wonder if the birds are here. I think they're called ibis. Um, and I'm like, and they usually, flocks of them will land in the yard. And I get very excited about the birds. You guys know, we talked, my birds were my good thing the other day. And I get very excited. And I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go outside and see the birds. So I, I, <laughs> I switch glasses because I had on my readers, run out the front door onto the porch and I'm facing not birds. No, 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 no birds, but some very surprised sheep. And I was equally surprised because I don't have sheep and my yard is fenced. So the first thing I do is look at the gate and I'm like, nope, the gate's fucking closed. And I'm like, so someone just stopped by and dropped off 13 sheep in my yard. I mean, I don't, I'm new to the country life, but like, this is like gift giving at its finest. I don't know. So I'm pondering this as the sheep are eating my yard and they ate the garden. The garden is gone and I was growing stuff too. And it's, it's now, it was sheep feed. So I check with my neighbor. She's not home. She's been here like 40 years and she's not home. So I leave her a voicemail. There are sheep in my yard. What's the protocol? Like what, what's the deal? Do I call, who do I call? Do I call someone? What do we do? What do I do? No answer. I touch base with my other neighbor. No answer. Nobody's home. I'm having a, a, a country, a rural emergency. Nobody's home. So what, what do you do with 13 sheep that aren't yours on your property and you don't know where they go? I went out back and just sat down and just watched them eat the whole yard. And, and of course, I FaceTimed my daughters. They weren't home. Woke my son up so he could see. Because, you know, how many of you have had 13 sheep just randomly show up in your yard? Like, a whole freaking herd of sheep are in my yard. And one of my friends is like, did you buy sheep? I'm like, fuck no, I didn't buy sheep. What? <laughs> did I buy sheep? No, the two cats I have are lucky I want to keep them. Sat down in the backyard and just watched them wander around and, and eat grass and leaves and stuff for 45 minutes before they decided to go home. Mm -hmm. They let themselves into my yard and I followed those suckers. Um, 
so in the back we had put up if, if you've been following a long time and you actually listen to all the stories you will know we put up fencing netting in the backyard to keep stray dogs out and at one point we had to take part of that fence down so we could mow the back and so we left this one little section open so we could get through to the to the back quarter of our of our of our acreage and so those sheep they went they found they found the fucking opening I thought, how, how smart are sheep? They're smart. They're smart. For your, for your, they're smart. So they went down and they cut through. And I'm like, where are they going? Then they went up the path through my wooded buffer. We've got cleared land and then we've got wooded buffer. And so they, they were, went up through the, they went up the little path. Then they hung a right. It's like, it's like they fucking had MapQuest on or something or, or Ma Apple Maps or something. They knew where they were going. They hung a right. And I only could go so far, but then they jumped the barbed wire fence in the backyard to get home. They had jumped the fence to come into my yard to eat my stuff. And then they jumped the fence to go home. And I felt bad because two of them almost got stuck and they struggled to get off of the barbed wire. Um, so after talking to other people in the area, I find out the people behind me really don't speak a lot of English because it had occurred to me to try and maybe go back. But it, their lot is so weirdly, it's not a... If you don't know about rural property, you're not always getting like a rectangular or a square. Sometimes you get like a, eh, 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 you get like a diagonal line or a path. It's weird. Okay. It's just weird. So they have one of those weird shaped lots. So <laughs> to find like the street entrance to there, you can't just go, oh, I'll just go on the street behind. It doesn't work that way out here. And so I don't even know how to get to their property, but come to find out they don't speak much English. There's one person there that speaks enough English to get by and, but what concerns me is somebody didn't notice 13 animals missing. It wasn't a dog or cat. 13. 13. And so my husband didn't believe me. I had to show him video because you know I had video. And then um, they're like, he's like, well, I bet that was really fun. Well, it was kind of fun. I was like a sheep herder for like an hour. But the thing was, I, I'm like, he's like, so you don't, you don't want to get, no, why not? Because there's so much sheep shit in my yard now. They shit constantly. And there were 13 of them. I used to be able to walk out in my yard and like not worry about stepping. And now there's sheep shit everywhere. <sighs> the struggle is real. And if you've hung in there for this whole story, I appreciate you. I know some of you do. Some of you, and I'm not offended. Some of you turn my videos on just to hear somebody's voice. And to those of you, hello, I love you. Um, and others of you are like, just get to the scratching. And I'm like, yeah, I'm, my channel is not really for you because I talk a lot and I like tell stories and it's funny cause I never really thought of myself as a storyteller, but yet here I am telling stories on, on a social media platform with 66,000 followers. And it's just kind of odd. Um, but there's always a story to tell. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you hung in there to the end, what can we comment down below? I'd say put sheep shit, but people will get excited. You know what? Put the little put the little poopy emoji. If you hung in there to the end, put the poop emoji. Somebody's going to look and go, let me read the comments. Why are the comments filled with shit? <laughs> like, yeah, that's something that would only happen on Grandma Scratcher's channel. That's how we roll here, baby. We are one of a kind. We are unique. And uh, I love all of you for it. So, oh, I didn't even do the subscription thing. If you had a good time, if you've hung in there to the very end, this is how it is every day. There is usually something to tell. So do me a favor, like the video, subscribe, give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, scream from the rooftops. Go write it in the sheep's, I don't know. What should we do? Go, go whisper it in your neighbor's sheep's ears. I don't know. Sheep's, sheep, sheep. Your neighbor's sheep ears. That doesn't sound right. Your neighbor's sheep's ears. That sounds right, but I don't think it's grammatically correct. Anyways, do all the things they're free to do. It helps the channel out. I greatly appreciate it. And yeah, I tell, I talk like this every day. I can make a five minute video, 20 minutes. <laughs> so anyways, thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you guys have a great Saturday and I will see you tomorrow. And yeah, leave the poop emoji down below just for fun. Have a great one, guys. Bye.